Hi, my name is Melissa. I'm a mother of two. I have two young kids, a girl and a boy, who's seven and five this year. I think firstly, it's about man managing difficult conversations. Because I mean, my kids are five and four, are uh, five and seven, and they've been asking a lot of questions. So sometimes it's about how do we answer things that are age appropriate. So for myself, I'm I'm working with teenage uh, moms who are pregnant. So I mean, imagine my five and seven asking, you know, like um, where do babies come from? What is it being pregnant? So I mean, I have to take this uh, and pace it at their own at their age to answer them. And of course, not everything being asked has to be answered as well. So that's where managing difficult conversations is something that I have learned in the last well, few years. And of course, uh, secondly, is I think learning and relearning because I mean, uh, as a mom, there are no causes to teach you how to go about and at a different stage in life, I mean, being from pregnancy to postpartum to even caring for an infant and toddler, all these are different for every individual and every child is also different. So that's where it has been a, a learning journey for myself. And of course, my goal has transited to primary one. And if we used uh, what we have learned in the past, it's definitely different. So learning and relearning is something that I'm experiencing uh, in, in motherhood. And lastly, I would say be spontaneous. Being moms, we kind of like to be in control most of the time, having to plan a lot of things, but not all things will go as planned. So sometimes it's okay to be spontaneous and just do whatever um, that could happen for that day. As part of personal development, I think it's important to be organised and why do I say so? Because I mean, uh, everybody has 24 hours a day and being a mom, we like to, like I shared earlier, be in control. So we kind of want to be on time, ensure that things fall in place, having to manage work, the kids, the school, yourself, the household. How do we manage to put all this in place? So what is important is to be organised so that you can also set time for yourself apart from having to care for the others around you, especially our children. Uh, secondly, I would say that it's important to step out of our comfort zone. Yeah, so I mean, apart from being a mother, we also have uh, the role that we uh, have for ourselves. So how do we grow? It's, it's really to step out of our comfort zone. We can be comfortable not doing anything or doing the same thing day on day, but how does that uh, allow us to grow as a person or even to move on to the next stage in life as we journey with our kids? Personally, I come from a huge family, so I have a total of about 16 uncles and aunties because my, my parents have a lot of siblings. So from a young age, I have been able to experience meeting um, my uncles and aunties of different age, cousins who could be even older than my parents. Yeah, so having these interactions with cousins, aunties has brought a lot of joy. I mean, apart from festivals, um, there's also different kind of gatherings that, that we have and because I, I used to stay with my grandmother. However, these days, being a nuclear family, and most people would have maybe even one or two children, they may not be able to experience having um, relatives, uncle, aunties, or even cousins of their same age to play with. Yeah, who they get to play with these days is probably their schoolmates, play dates with um, my friends and stuff like this. So I, I, I think there's value in letting them understand what is family, someone that you could turn to in times of need, yeah, and having that larger support system besides just your parents or grandparents. I think word of encouragement for all moms out there is to really prioritise self-care and accept imperfections because I mean most of us are doing what we can within our means and our, our best abilities so don't be too hard on ourselves and you know cut some slack. <laughs>